You actually saw one run through here? Yeah. Okay. And the other thing was right here, right here. Oh, that door. Okay. They've oh, done. They chewed through them. The, the rat's nest was under here, the materials? Yeah. The homeowner stating that there's a runway along this here. Okay. The deck is right here. We're gonna explore that. Could be a lot of rats right here. Obviously, she said that there's a lot of activity here. So one of my biggest concerns is this. How long is this door open throughout the day? Is it a couple hours? This one? Yeah, for the dog. I guess it depends on the day. It's usually closed though. It's usually closed, okay. I just can't help but feel like you're lying. <laughs> Got plenty of water source here too with these types of ponds. You can see that this is a runway here. They love nesting inside pianos. Here's a quick scene of the last rat infested piano that we did, check it out. So they're also leaving dog food. This door's open so the rats will come in, take there, so I can almost guarantee that there's a lot of dog food underneath that kitchen. I guarantee it. See the dog food? See these attract? A lot of ants, so that's why you never want to bait your uh, your glue boards. I'll write that down. Inspecting the exterior portion of the property here. The house looks pretty tight and sealed all the way on the exterior portion. So how are they getting in? Okay, so we're underneath the deck here. There is a suspect area that we were able to detect. Don't know if it leads to anything, but pretty good find within 15 minutes of being here. These guys are fast company. So this wall right here is the other side of that piano, and look at that pipe. That leads right into this concrete right here, wide open. Is that the entry point? Leave in your comments. What do you guys think? Hurry up. All right, so we found that pipe over there. We're running the camera. We determined, go ahead, come back. So that's a roof train for the, for the patios up above. So we may have to investigate this a little further. All right, so here's, here's our room below the kitchen which is the theater room. Beautiful theater room. So here's the kitchen right here, right above the theater room. So we're gonna go upstairs. You can see the light up there. That's where the roof is, so we gotta get up there. I gotta get a ladder. You want me to open that? Yeah. Hedges over there with the neighbors. Huge, huge runway here for the rats. They absolutely love, and see the, if you look at the city electrical lines, that's perfect runway for rats. And they can cross over. We did our sniff check and uh, there's a lot of spider webs in a lot of these, so there's no indication that they're sewer rats at this point. I have a feeling that that door to that kitchen with that dog food is definitely a, a concern. So Robert, the house is only two years old, correct? Three, three, three years exact, old. Yeah. And when did you guys start hearing the, the activity? About uh, four or five months ago. Four or five months ago. Yeah, okay. we saw one dead rat when they opened up the ceiling about a year ago uh, in the in the living room. That was like a year and something ago. Okay. okay. So, but then we didn't think of anything on, until about five months ago. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So, anytime you open up a ceiling and you find a dead rodent or there's activity, if you watched our videos, we leave that ceiling opened up until everything is completely silent and you've detected their entry point. So, whoever opened that ceiling, that was a good, good strategy. But if they remove the dead rat, cleaned up the droppings, and immediately patched, that's the mistake. You were so close. So apparently the guys found a burrow. Rat stuff? So he found a couple burrows underneath here. We have our sewer camera inside the burrow. Look there, look. It's, it's big. It has a little space over there and then it goes another one over there. So this is like a Y to the 
Yeah, so there's a burrow. One goes one way, one goes the other way. You could see the PVC rub marks here. And then over here, there's a burrow there and another burrow right here. So we're going to go ahead and introduce smoke inside those burrows and see if we get anything inside the house. Got a ton of smoke coming out of here. All right, so Dave created a rat box here. It's connected to our vacuum. We have a monitoring camera right there. So the rats are gonna go in here. We baited it here with dog food that Rebecca and uh, Robert had. So as they come through here, sensor, it's gonna kick on the vacuum and get sucked up, hopefully, into the vacuum there. There's no way this could work. Jim, I think I found something. Big hole right there, right? Yeah. Can you see through there, like? Let's go up in the stucco. Yeah, I see oh, the wood, yeah. cause I see the wood, I yeah. see the. Let's try to get the kit. Can you pick it up? It's right there, yeah, look at that. Yeah, rats love decks. When they're running through and migrating underneath these decks, they feel secure from the wildlife. It's just a really good comfort runway for them. So decks are a huge, huge migration path for rats. So we're just gonna use this cheap foam right here. And the reason why is because they'll eat right through this. I wanna confirm that you found the entry point. Just use some of this cheap stuff. All right, now we're gonna put some smoke in this area drain here. These are the deck drains. So we're getting smoke. Getting smoke coming out of here. This puzzle is coming together because the dead rat below in the ceiling where Rebecca showed and Robert showed is right over there. And so if there's a breach, that soffit runs this way towards the kitchen. So we should not be getting smoke. As you can see, we've got all the drains capped off, but we have a breach in the system. They're in a big lawsuit with the area drain, so what they want to do is go ahead and just screen that pipe off so rats can't get back in, and then they'll deal with the breach uh, later on. The rats go in here, and this is loaded up with dog food. I see, I see. So they come in here, they hit a sensor, and then it activates the vacuum, it sucks them right in. They're going there? Yes. <laughs> oh, so you eventually catch them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you come over there, this could have like one one, one mice two, or three, whatever. Four, yeah. And then they, 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 they're still alive in there. Still alive or we could put enzyme in there, but yeah, they're gonna be alive. Mm. Wow, Robert. That was a great find. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So we're gonna monitor for the next couple of days. I have Rebecca's number, we'll be texting back and forth, but definitely let's keep this door closed and then let's see what the activity is over the next four to five days. Absolutely. Day two. All right, so we're back. Uh, Rebecca's claims that there is a rat or a few in our rat vac. So let's go check it out. Rats came through here and then they got extracted. So there's one in there now. So. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a little juvenile. So the big takeaway in this episode for you pet owners, don't leave your doors open. Check those doggy doors, make sure they're secure. Those rats can smell that food and they will get into your home. But this deserves the rat dance.